Hey, I'm Kev Kermasu. Welcome back to iRacing and a new TCR series, the Mitchin Pilot series, which is based on a series in real life that happens in America luck, with Ray. TCR cars. So we are in the Audi TCR yeah, car, which okay. came with the new build and in the practice laps, I have to say it's pretty good fun to drive. It is a front wheel drive car, just like virtual modern toy cars and just like the TCR cars and it is slightly difficult to get on top so especially with the braking but once you get on top of that it seems to be pretty good fun hopefully I have a fun race here from the back of the grid I'm a bit pissed at myself because I did a lap that was a 32.5 as you can see that would have got pole but instead I cut in the court screw which is very easy to do as it's a blind crest and it said the number 17 car starts in 18, so in right probably where I should be, I rating wise, as my I rating is shocking on the roadside. Much better on the oval side for some reason. And you see, immediately we're getting these cars up to third. Because with front wheel drive, we've got all that power going through the front wheels. Don't want to go too low a gear, you give maybe a bit too much for the gears, you just end up spinning the wheels, so... That's why we're going to be most accelerating fourth out of the acceleration zones, or third shall I say. Fourth is our safe gear, and then fifth is the high gear. That's what it is around here in the Guna say, because it's not... Not a lot of gears we're going to be seeing. Uh, so why, what the hell? Why is everyone slow? Well, that's good. Already got a car contact. You need to catch up to the guy ahead. So we've got to let the two car by. Two. That's touring car racing, you know, you get cr into crashes all the time. Even on the formation app, apparently. I don't know what happened there, someone maybe spun. Oh, fuck, sorry, 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 my bad. My bad. Oh, we all got caught okay, okay. up. There's uh, now someone else has spun. Sorry, guys, I was reading something. Catch up to car number two. Okay, let's try to avoid the turn one clusterfuck. Go! Well, this is good start. What a race. I haven't even begun yet. There's an incident in. Turn 11. So if we can get put this qualifying pace into order, then get through the field, get a top 10 finish. Are we already in 10th already? I'm not sure. Well, it's gone a bit wide. On your right. Hold your line. Easy, hold your line. All clear on the right. Well done, Kev. Good start. How's that a good start? We just survived the formation that just about. There's an incident in turn five. It looks like quiet. So it's seems going to be a bit cautious because this is another car with the new tyre model. So it's going to take a lap or two for the tyres to warm up. On my second qualifier, like the car tyres were absolutely gorgeous. The car felt brilliant. So. Maybe that free this race, it will feel brilliant. This is a time race as well. Yeah, 30 minutes.
Oh, we're getting held up a bit. All right, they're on your right. Now we're not getting held up. So don't change the sit, keep it in fifth. And you'll see we've got the big red shift. The banding, that's what it's like in real life, so I won't complain too much, but yeah, it's a bit distracting at times. Just have to be confident with the car with being front wheel drive, just to be confident when they get on the power. I'm finding that's the thing around here with the Guna with the sand everywhere. Like it's so easy to go off and make a mistake. If you're just a bit too early on the throttle or just carry a bit too much speed into a corner, because you have to brake a bit earlier with these cars compared to normal. Go close that gap already. Thirty-four flat, not bad. Let's go and get the tower up. It's the optimal 33.5. The gap to Wyatt ahead is now 1.3. Well, it's going to be difficult to pass in these cars, isn't it? So now the tyres should be up to temperature now. We should be able to push a bit more now. Bit of dodgy braking. I'm going to use the brake in the middle of the corner there to get the car rotated. That's a kind of pace we're running. 33.7. That lap time was 133.8. The guy in front has just done a 133.6. Well, I have to be so smooth, these cars. There you go, someone going wide, just so easy to do that. But it should be close racing as well. So we'll go in front, going wide quite a lot. So done way too much there. Could have trouble ahead as well. Oh, such a handful in the brakes. The leader has just done 133.1. Okay, time to get moving, make some moves there. 33 five is not good enough. Here 
Let's see, you're trying to get on the power so early. There you go, should be one moved. Did it exert so much as the previous, though? Almost ran and hide that. The leader's just done it, 132.5. Oh, those are that times with I. off there. So we're doing the same that times as the leader. There you go, 35. 14th, that lap was at 132.5. Sectors 1 and 2 are 0.5 off the pace. Sector 3 times okay. Bit wobbly there on the brakes. Bit of a train here. We're getting close in front. Can we take advantage of this? So, someone down. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 1.5 seconds. Then the guy in front just breaks too late for that final corner. He just seems to go in so wide. Tempted to put a nose in. B13. That's 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes. Side by side in front. Oh, it's gone wide again. Try to back up that corner, get a good run into the court screw, but doesn't seem to have worked. Going front and going wide. Clear right. Not what you're meant to be doing, make a move there, but we'll take it. And someone's in the pits as well, so up to 11th, I think. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.3 off the pace. Well, I can go on the power much earlier than that. What the hell? Oh, 
Well, you've got to be so precise. You know, maybe back into the 32s, it looks like. One, two, three. Whoa, bollards everywhere. Someone's put down a distraction. Interesting tactics from some of your opposition. I'll get my put I'll get my shells out then, shall I? Nothing we can do with it though. Damn you, Laguna. So the guy in front slowing the guy in the guy two in front of us slowing down the guy in front. Into that. Close enough. God damn it, so tempted. But just not close enough. That's an interesting line. Oh, fuck's sake, Kev. Track limits, come on. I'm trying out different lines, Spotter, okay? I've got to fight, figure out a way by, you know? It's on your apexes. Wait for the chances to come, mate. 15 minutes left. Half distance. Fuel looks good. The same with halfway through the race, and I've got to be patient. What the hell? So if he's just sitting there in front of us too. Well he's got the run. On your left. Clear left, left side, all clear on the left. Maybe we should try the inside next time. <laughs> So we might try it now, we've got a great run. On your right. Still there. Put it on your right. Good pass mate, that was fucking brilliant. Wasn't really, he gave it to me, but thanks Spotter. I was a bit cautious as well. Didn't want to outbreak myself. Decreased to 0.7 P10. We've got our target, top 10 finish. And then we run right like an absolute bell end.
next car is Maldonado. Did you just say Maldonado? Well, he's really dropped down the levels, hasn't he? We're we'll driving towards Point Three. Point three. Those track limits or we'll get a penalty. Oh, he ran right, should have the up and under it. Oh god. So slow everywhere. God, I tried to get the up and under again the car under the seers in that corner. What's the one corner I actually want to get it? He's actually correct in there. God's sake. She came to a standstill in that final corner. Car on your right. All clear on the right. On your right. Still there. Hello, we've got racing breaking up. Hold your line. Clear on your right. Great fight back from him. Played me like a kipper. Looks like P5's got off it. The corpse crew. All right, still there. Careful, still there. All clear on the right. Okay, Kev, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Airport car on your right. Hold your line. Clear right. All right, clear on your right. And he spun it. Hey. Oh, that was some good racing there. That was actually fun. Just a glimpse of what you can get in these CCR cars. As they press the, pre the pit limiter there, well, that's a good job. See if we can catch up to the car in front in 3.6. We seem to be pretty even on pace. Good job going mega wide. Now they the gate behind too. Ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. All right, spotter. That last light was at one thirty-three point seven. Yeah, 
if you get better in that first corner. Real gain on the guy in front. I thought we were a similar place, obviously not. I'm bringing it along the guy behind me as well. See, that's why you don't try and put too much power on these front wheels, they just understeer you. doing his 33 pace, I should be in the 32s really. Come on, say he's so so in front. This is our battle then for the final five minutes. Bit of a break again in the middle of that corner. Dragway's going on, hello. Still there. They're on your right. The eight. Pretty happy with that move. I didn't expect to have an in the middle of a corner though. I thought I'd get him on the exit. What's he struggling? Maybe he's damaged? Maybe tires a bit worn, but I imagine not. Only a 30 minute race. Shouldn't be. Almost hit one of those red sausages. This guy in the gaps now, 9.5. He's slower than us through the corkscrew. Thanks for telling me just as we approach the corkscrew. So you're a bit optimistic, crew chief, on this occasion. That's all, I've got the turn. Less than 20 seconds off the top five, God's sake. See, kids qualify. Okay, Kev, you've got half your fuel left. Half the fuel left? Even overfilled the car by quite a bit.
Feels like there's a guy behind is actually on our pace. The gap behind is now 1.6. Must be a bit disappointed as well then. You down it. Breaking very over that final corner. Now, let's see, we've got two laps to go after this. Well, let's try and set a fastest lap. Well, but much better in that first corner, that's good to see. Good battles down the order. I've been our battling days in this race are long over, but my bind's keeping the pressure on. much better. Now let's find all that. One more lap to go. God, the screen does get dirty, doesn't it? Especially when you're battling. Don't want to be battling too hard around it. Won't be able to see by the end of the race. Oh, that's annoying the pace we have. Like I said, we should have been on pole. Could be a bin battling right up there for the victory, but it was a good fight from the from the back, especially with that formation, that whatever that hell that was. So we'll take a top ten. Definitely try this again though later. I hope you enjoyed seeing some TCR action, seeing the battling you can do like up and under moves. Best shot it looks like from this race. Good race. Let's hope the guy in front messes up. Yeah, yeah, we think it might be green. Uh, it's across the line in a 17 yeah. car. Okay, it's over. Well done, what mate. more could you ask for? Yeah, yeah that was right, pretty yeah. good fun. Hopefully. We go to a circle which is a bit more wide open next time, then we can really battle these things, but that's a nice drive through the field. So, sad for watching, and I'll see you next time. Before we go, let's see what the hell happened at the start then. So, I'm trying to capture who, who messed up. It looks like someone just slowed down. What the hell? Okay. I said it's the guy who apologised as well, so he's reading something. So, okay, that's the first incident. Let's try and capture the second one then. I'm not sure if this is the same car which got involved. And see, speeding up. So, someone spun up here. 
don't think it was this car though. I was wrong, it actually is this car. This car got hit. So as you can see, we're climbing towards the court screw. Got some nice trees around, nice greenery. So as you can see, going up towards the court screw, just break in, giving all the room that you need to. And the purple car behind your sides, no, screw that. Give you no room, mate. Oh, I sent us the guy who apologised actually as well. So the one that guy was slowed and he actually was damaged from the formation that. What a crazy race. I know it's gone green already now. Has it? Oh no, it's about to go green. Ridiculous.